Welcome. The Google team is excited to let you know you can now resize pivot tables in Google Sheets. If you're unaware, pivot tables are a great way to narrow down a large data set or see relationship between data points. Let's go ahead and dive deeper on this amazing update. As you can see in this Google Sheet, I have data collected. Username, email, how many Google Docs, sheets, slides, drawings, and forms in this particular data set. If you're unaware of how to create a pivot table, let's just quickly show you. First, you want to select the data that you want to manipulate. I'm going to go ahead and select all by going to the top left hand corner and then go ahead and select insert pivot table. Then you can see the data range is already selected and I always recommend into a new sheet um, or you can do an existing sheet as well. But in this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and select new, then click create. Now you can see we have a pivot table editor on the right hand side and then we have a what I would call a puzzle that we need to complete and where does the pieces need to fall. So you can see there's categories here rows values and columns so that can help you know how the information will be displayed. I'm going to go ahead and select user email to be displayed in the rows section. So I'm going to go ahead and drag it over here and select user email. And now you can see in the area of rows, it is displaying the user email. Now in the value section, which is the middle of the table, I'm going to go ahead and select Google Docs. And when I select Google Docs, I'm then going to select values. And then I can select different types of functions. I'm going to go ahead and select count. And then you can see the count of them. If I want, I could go ahead and select some, and you can see the different variations as you display the data. Now, what is really about this particular update is that sometimes such as the Google Forms header is really extra long and is cut off. What this particular update allows you to expand the pivot table editor so you can display all the column headers so you know exactly what information you are manipulating to give you a better understanding of the data. So again, this is a brief introduction of pivot tables. No worries. I have a special treat here for you at the very end. In the post and in the description below, you can see there is a YouTube chapter just about pivot tables. Let's get started with pivot tables. I can't encourage you enough to definitely check out the Google Sheets training. This particular link that you see YouTube chapter in the description or in the post will definitely help you to get a better understanding how to use pivot tables and Google Sheets altogether. With that, again, don't forget to check out the resources below to learn more and thank you.